M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable is a film all about purpose. We see this theme played out in the two main characters, Elijah Price, played by Samuel L. Jackson, and David Dunn, played by Bruce Willis. Price is a man who's been searching for purpose his whole life. He has a theory as to what that purpose might be, but until he can prove that theory, he still feels like a bit of an outcast due to the rare condition that he has. And it's this condition that has propelled him towards some wacky theories about where his place might be in the universe. On the flip side to that, we get Don, who doesn't even know that he's looking for a purpose. He isn't searching in the way that Elijah Price is. He's just missing something. We get a scene between him and his wife in which she asks him what is wrong, essentially, because their marriage is breaking down, their relationship is falling apart, and, and she wants to get to the root of it. She wants to know what's missing. And he doesn't have an answer for her. And he's being honest. He genuinely doesn't know. that He just knows that something is missing. So he's not searching for his purpose. But the fact that he isn't fulfilling his purpose in life is really getting to him. Over the course of the film, with thanks to Price's wacky theories, Dunn becomes empowered. He starts to realise just what his purpose in life is, what he was meant for. And as he starts to fulfil that purpose, starts to step out into the role that has been given to him from the gods, from fate, from wherever it is that this thing comes from, his life starts to look more positive all round. His relationship with his wife begins to go on the up once more. The film shows us that finding one's purpose is not only fulfilling for that person who has found it, but is also inspiring to those around them. We see this in the character of David's son. David becomes an inspiration to his son. His son wants to be like him. As soon as David starts to realise who he is, what he is, and starts to feed into that, starts to explore it, starts to find his purpose, it inspires his son to greater things. His son wants to be like him. That's why he comes to the defence of someone who's being bullied at his school. Now, he comes foul of those bullies himself, but at the end of the day, he was inspired to action because of the purpose that David has found in his own life. The perspective of children in this film is very important in that regard. When we're first introduced to David on the train, just before the train crashes, we see the whole scene play out through the eyes of a child. The camera itself is positioned from her point of view. And as she's watching, we see David remove his wedding ring. When the possibility of building up a relationship with an attractive girl who sits next to him seems quite likely. But in this scene, David does not do himself proud. He steps over a line, attempting to make moves on another woman that would absolutely compromise his relationship with his wife. All of this is because his life is lacking that sense of purpose. Something I'm sure at some point we can all relate to. A lack of purpose can lead to behaviour that is anything but inspiring. This is never felt more heavily than through the eyes of a child. Later on in the film, once David embraces his newfound sense of purpose, embraces who he is as a hero, we once again see that from the perspective of a child, his son, across the dinner table. David moves a newspaper across the table to his son and everything plays out from the point of view of these characters. We get the shot of David looking directly at his son and then we get the reverse shot of his son looking directly back at David. We are in these people's bodies, we are looking through their eyes. Seeing these scenes in this way makes them more personal. It helps us to relate to these characters in a much deeper way so that, like David's son, we can draw inspiration from Dunn's newfound sense of purpose. The flip side to this coin, of course, is Elijah Price himself. He turns out to be the villain of the piece. In fact, having orchestrated the train crash that set Dunn on the path to finding his purpose. Elijah Price has embraced what he sees as his destiny, which is ultimately to be the villain. 
In the final moments of the film, we learn that purpose, however inspiring it may be, can also be found in the darkest of endeavours. One man's purpose may be found in the path of heroism, while another's may be found in the path of destruction.